I think you have to understand, uh, or the listeners have to understand, what, uh, what the Chicago political machine is. See, the Chicago uh, political machine is an aggregation of about 35,000 people, uh, men and women, but of course mostly men, and uh, in all, almost all the high positions only men, who make a living off politics. That's their living. They make a living off politics, and they make it in a variety of ways. They make it by salaries, by holding positions, by jobs. They make it by perquisites. They make it by money that's, uh, that, that's made because you hold a job. They make it by contracts with the public agencies. They make it by the side lines. And we know from the public record that they make it from bribery. We know that not all of them. We know from the the convictions of uh, committeeman Keene, Paul Wagoda, and other aldermen and committeemen, they make it by bribery, and that that has been practiced uh, on a very wide scale. And there's nothing to indicate that it's not being practiced now. So that it's a large enterprise that's interested in making a living off politics. When you have that kind of organization uh, penetrating the city, penetrating all our local governments, you know that uh, the people who deal with local governments and expect to make money from them or have made money from them or are making money from them certainly do not want to do anything that will create ill will.